What's up guys, it's Brad from GBH Media here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video on which visual effects processes or techniques I recommend learning first based on my experience. Now before I give my answer to this question, let's go through the visual effects processes and techniques that can take place when creating a visual effect along with some basic definitions. This is a diagram covering the general visual effects process. Now while not all of these steps are taken in every visual effect, this is the general order in which they will occur assuming that they are required. Now let's go through the process here. So first on the diagram, we have tracking. Now tracking is the process that is needed if you are adding visual effects on more than a few frames of a moving shot. Essentially tracking is a process of telling the computer how your camera was moving when you were originally filming your live action shot. By doing tracking you can add visual effects into your scene that move around according to the way you shot. Now there are several different types of tracking including point tracking, planner tracking, and 3D match moving. Which technique you use depends on the visual effect you are trying to add. Um, next on the diagram we have modeling. 3D modeling is the process of manipulating points in 3D space on a computer in order to create a 3D mathematical representation of an object. If the visual effect you're trying to add requires 3D computer generated imagery, then early on in the visual effects process, you will need to acquire the models needed or create them yourself. Next on the diagram, we have the process of rigging. Rigging is the process of preparing a 3D model for animation. Using things called bones and constraints, a model is rigged in order to give the animator sufficient control control in pushing and pulling the object around. Rigging is to 3D modeling like the skeletal and muscular system is to the human body. You're preparing the 3D model to be moved in a way that makes sense. Now after rigging, the model is ready to be animated. Animation is the process of making an object move over a desired amount of time. In animation, essentially, the object is brought to life. So texturing and shading is the process of telling the computer how you want your 3D object to interact with light. It's the process of giving an object a material. Now what that material is depends on what you're going for. It could be rusty metal, rubber, plastic, tile, glass, or anything really else you could think of. Now before lighting and rendering is done, any kind of particle system or simulations that are needed for an effect need to be set up and baked. Now simulations and particles are used to create 3D things that are hard to reproduce using other techniques. These things include things like explosions, smoke, destruction, and so on. In lighting and rendering, the 3D scene inside your computer will be lit in a way that matches the live action shot you filmed. Now there are four properties of light that need to be matched between your 3D render and your live action shot in order to create a realistic result. These include quantity, quality, the color, and the direction of the light. Finally, the last step of the visual effects process is compositing. Now compositing is the process of taking all your layers, including 3D renders, simulations, matte painting, stock footage, and anything else you have, and combining them into a final shot that is seamlessly integrated into your scene. Okay, so now that we've gone through the general process, let's find out which step or technique you should learn first. There's no single answer to this question that will be perfect for everyone. Which visual effect technique you should learn first entirely depends on the type of film or content you're trying to create. That said, assuming your goal is not to specialize in one of these fields, in my opinion, it's best to learn on the level of abstraction closest to the output of your final product or video. In other words, learn compositing first. Most industries in the world run on the idea of abstraction. This is kind of a fancy way of saying that everything and everyone is building on each other without understanding exactly how the foundation they are building upon works. Each one of these steps in the visual effects process that we went over is a specialized field that you need a lot of knowledge to master on its own. The the good news is that you don't have to master each field. All you really have to know is how to build on what already exists. In most cases, you don't have to know how to model and rig a car, airplane, or helicopter that you want to add to your film because you can likely find models pre-rigged by a specialist online. On the same level, unless you're trying to create something entirely unique, you don't need to know how to simulate a generic explosion because you can find stock footage that is often just as good. Based on my limited experience, I think if you're a filmmaker, it is best to learn 2D compositing first because learning two-dimensional compositing will give you the most amount of production value with the least effort. With 2D compositing, you can duplicate crowds and extras, replace backgrounds and skylines, add set extensions, explosions, gunfire, dirt hits, and so on. If you're interested in learning further or find out that it's necessary to learn more of a specific skill for your film, then work your way backwards and go deeper into each field. Anyway, that's it guys. Be sure to like and favorite this video if you thought it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. It'll get back to you as soon as I can. The JBS Media Facebook page is in the description below if you want to like it there to get the latest updates feel free to do so and yeah i'll see you guys next time let me know what you think